Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys out there. Glad to see you again. And today I have another live raid for you. As you can see in the title, I am going to do, uh, let's say, a low risk loot run on customs. And right now I have the best spawn for the crack house. So if you have this spawn like I have right here, you should take the opportunity and rush straight to the crack house. Inside of the crack house, you can find some intelligence and all of that stuff. And what you want is go as fast as possible to the library and go and get the intelligence because as you can see right now you have the best spawn and you should be aware with the new scav spawn on customs you can find some scav over here so and that's why i love some some smgs perfect situation loot runs your enemies are most likely very close by and that means that you are safe to go with an smg again you should be very very quick Check for some intelligence over here. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Okay, we are good to go. On top of that, I want to show you this spot over here. You can find roll and all of that stuff. And because of this is a low risk loot run, um, you can find very good items over here. Medical stuff, sugar and all of that, that stuff you need. And as I said, this is a low risk loot run. What that means is that you want to leave this area as quick as possible because you can hear it. We have some enemies right behind us and we are focusing on some stashes and I want to show you some stashes even right now it is a little bit dangerous. Let's try this stash over here. Stashes are great. You can find almost everything inside of some stashes, GPUs, bitcoins, all that stuff. And let me introduce this video a little bit more. I was a little bit in a rush because I had this very good spawn. As I said, you can find some intelligence and all of that stuff right with this spawn. And if you go to the crack house, it's a very good opportunity, as I said. So right now we have some sugar. Sugar is great. It's 100k profit and some medical supplies. Also very good. So if you get a spawn on the western side of customs like I did close to the red hall, you have two options. The first option is... Get the hell out of there as quick as possible because I don't like the west side of customs. It is very useless because there is almost nothing. And again, if you have my spawn, go as quick as possible to the crack house or you can wait a little bit and leave the area after a couple of minutes. So let's continue with some stashes. You have a hidden stash right under this area over here. So this is the next stash over here. It's very well hidden. So right now we are a little bit unfortunate, but I'm unfortunate with loot in general. But you maybe have some better luck than I have. So the thing for every loot run is you have two options. The first option is if you have a good spawn, run as fast as possible to a very good location. And the second option is wait a little bit. Because after a couple of minutes a lot of players are going to be dead or they are leaving the area and then you can start looting. On customs you have also a lot of these crates over here. It is a little bit risky, but in this video I want to show you some spots, which if you wait for a couple of minutes, for example, are very good to, to loot because nobody will be here. Especially this area, you can have some enemies over here. And you should be aware of this window over there. So you should avoid the old gas station in general, because this building over here becomes very popular. You have a lot of spawns close by and it's a very crowded area. So I'm not going to loot old gas right now. I want to show you some more hidden stashes because they are very great. So this area over here is a little bit open. You have to be aware scav post can be right there. Player can come from this side. So that's what I mean with the two options. You can wait, as I said, or if you are rushing these spots, you should be very quick. But we have a hidden stash right here. I have to find it. There we go, it's right here. Let's continue with another hidden stash on the opposite side, which is also a little bit tricky to find. And as always, be a little bit patient about your environment. Players can spawn, as I said, old gas, they can come right over here. So what you also can do, let's say you hear some shots close by or in every direction. 
Just find some good spots and wait for 1, 2, 3, 5 minutes. It's not a red gameplay and if you can't hear anything, continue with your loot run. So as you can see we have these wagons over here, we have this sign and right here there is another hidden stash. So again, a little bit unlucky, but with almost no effort, we are making some profit. So we have some scaffs inside of the old gas station area. So right now we could kill him with a silenced weapon. But right now I want to continue and show you some more stashes because this video is a little bit more about stashes and some, some decision making. You can come back to this area later on if you want because the longer you survive, the better your chance is that we have less players on the server. I would really recommend going for perfect, perfect example. For this area, this building over here, you can find fuel, you have this jacket, you can find batteries very often. And this is great. Right now batteries are worthless, but maybe you need them. Maybe you need bolts and all of that stuff. And maybe you need them for your hideout quests or anything else. Well, then we have this small area over here. Sometimes we can find some loot and this area is also very good because we have a hidden stash very close by and we should loot it. So and always, as always, do not run that much if you don't have to. Yeah, perfect, it's not looted. It seems risky to loot here, but this area is not so crowded. Cigarettes for your quest and all that stuff. We can see we could extract right now. Good to know, but we are not we are not done yet. So you could loot this building. It's also not so crowded, but I do not like being inside of this building. It's very loud. I would avoid it. As you can see, we have some dead skiffs over here. Maybe someone spawned here. And also I would avoid the streamer house. As you can see, we have some broken windows. That means we had a fight. And I wouldn't go in there, it's also very loud, um, just avoid it, it's very hard to fight in this area in my opinion. Just leave this area, because very close to the exit, you can find a lot of hidden stashes, which is perfect. And we have this building over here, on my right side. Because again, this is a low risk run. That means you can make your own decisions. I want to show you how you can get some loot on customs with, with not so much risk. So we heard some grenade launcher shots. That means we have some very funny players close to the, to the new construction. Unfortunately, this is very loud. But as you can see, we have some PCs over here. Always loot PCs if you can. Gunpowder is not that bad. Another small tip, you can do that also if you want to loot some stashes. Press the F button and turn around real quick. So, and by doing that, your positioning is a little better. Just a small tip. Maybe you know it, of course. So we also could extract over here. But of course, there is much more loot for us. We have a hidden stash right over here. And again, try to position yourself a little bit better. Try to leave this area also as quick as possible because as I said we have this extract over here and you don't want you to be here so long. In this corner over here we have another stash. It's a little bit open but we can try it. Always check some corners. We have a dead body over here. But on top of that where is it? Yeah, right here. We have this hidden stash. Perfect. We heard some shots. Far away. <clears throat> it's getting a little bit better. But again, this loot run is just to show you what you can do. Making some low risk loot runs is like putting some patterns together. There is no fixed way which you can use every time. Oh, look at that. It's pretty nice. And this area is also not so crowded. 
but we are still not in the end of our video. We have some more stashes and some more places to loot. First one is right over here. Pretty well hidden and pretty good to loot. Oh yeah, look at that. And the thing is with this loot run method, you have to compare the effort for the profit. Like you can do this with a scaf, you can do this all the time because right now we have 22 minutes left. It's almost safe to be here on customs right now because the big boys looted their stuff and we are good to go to get some stash loot. Then we have this stash over here, close to the passage between the rocks exit. It's a big one. Ah, Kiraza. Oh, Paracord. Nice. Very nice. Drop that. Perfect. So the next one is a little bit trickier to find, but it's close by. And as you can see, this raid is so, so relaxing. Almost no effort. You just have to be aware a little bit about your surroundings. And maybe your server is not so crowded. Perfect time to make some stash looting. So the next stash is a little bit hard to find. You can see this way coming up to the small construction site and you have this, let's say, blank tree. And you can hear it if you are running over the hidden stash. Where is it right now? Yeah, you can hear this and then you can find it. In. And as you can see, the next hidden stash is also very close by. It's right behind this blue fence inside of the bush of this small construction site. So as you can see, some decent loot. Don't forget early wipe, tape and bulbs are very expensive. Right now they are almost worthless, but early on they are very, very good. And we had some players over here, as you can see, toolbox looted. Ah. But they or he or she did not loot at this crate. Okay, not so much loot. So as you can see right now, this is the small construction site. And right here there is a very well hidden hidden stash. You can find it right here. Look at that, it's so good. Oh yeah, it's not bad, not bad at all. Some BP ammunition, some green gunpowder. I'm dropping the battery because I don't need it anymore. Dropping that. Perfect. Very good to go. And right now we are basically done with the low risk loot run. So you saw some very well hidden stashes, but I want to continue and I want to show you some more hidden stashes because right now it's getting a little bit riskier to loot right here because this is the, let's say, the middle of the map. But we can have some luck and of course we can have the chance to get some more loot. So we have a hidden stash right over here, close to the new gas. It's also not looted. Perfect. This hidden stash over here is very dangerous to loot because it is very open and also in the middle of the map. But let's try it. Phew, look at that, guys. That's a big profit. So we have to hurry up. We don't need that. We don't need that. Throw it away and we are good to go. Some are mid. Perfect. So as you can see, and I'm very glad, this is some mediocre loot for some hidden stashes. But we are good to go, in my opinion. And I definitely want to show you this hidden stash over here. It's close to this bus station area, dorms. So as you can see, we have 15 minutes left and the stashes are not looted. This is perfect. This is a perfect sign. So right here, I would say this is the most dangerous hidden stash on customs. As you can see, we are between the new gas station. There is old constructions. There is the skeleton and you have the hidden stash right here. We have some shots left on the map because right now we have a lot of scaf players. Filter 50k, nails 60k. So we are very close to the new construction again because I want to check out the old gas station. 
we had some shots close to the to the new construction site. That's why I think it's looted and I want to avoid it. Let's sprint to the to the old gas station real quick. Because we can extract there and we maybe find some loot. I guess I heard something very close by. Yeah, it's prepared me. Yeah, it's a player. That's why I love the P90. Scaf player with an SVD. Not bad at all. It was a little bit riskier right now. But I told you, it's all about decision making. And in my opinion, we are fine. Let's try to get the SVD. Yes, ammunition. I dropped one. Oh. Maybe I heard something. Nope. All right. And as you can see, that's why I like some SMGs. In my opinion, SMGs are so good. I love them. I lost. Oh, MP5. I'm sorry. Perfect. We have so much loot. We could loot these gifts over there. But first of all, I want to show you some... Whew. What a mess. What a mess. We have this hint stash over here. It's also not looted. Let's try that out. Oh, some proper ammunition. Let's take that. This all tree over here. Some some good loot can spawn right there. Man, what a mess. Some some player fought over here against some scavs. I don't need our mid anymore. That. So it is a bit risky looting scaffs right now. That's why we are leaving the area. We have enough loot. Nothing special. And that's basically it. Let's make a quick summary about this low risk loot run. On customs you should focus for some hidden stashes and if you have some good spawns you should use them. It's not a shame to wait some minutes if you have some enemies close by. So and after they have left the area or maybe they are dead, you are very good to go. As you can see right now, I had almost no effort as long as I made this low risk loot run. And as you can see, I took the risk to go to the old gas station. And in my situation, I get the reward for it, as you can see. But I told you it is dangerous to go back to the old gas station uh, and you saw why. I made this decision to go back to the old gas station to show you we have some hidden stashes left there. But as you can see, this was some mediocre loot, nothing special, and we made a lot of profit. Maybe you made some progress for your quests and all of that stuff. So I really recommend do this low risk loot run, learn where the stashes are, and I showed you almost every stash on customs. You have two stashes on the western side of customs close to the bridge. Um, I don't like the area at all. If you spawn there, don't waste your time looting those stashes close to the red hall. If you have the spawn there, go to the crack house if you have the top spawn or loot the stash, which I showed you in the beginning of this video. 
If you have any questions, let me know into the comment section below. And as always, guys, don't forget to like this video because your support is awesome. I, I want to show the world out there that we Germans can bring something. And if it's your like, I would really appreciate it. See you in the next video, guys.